Okay, so the Powermatic 72 is complete. Fence is all set. Had to work on these knobs and uh, threaded shafts here. Uh, there are some parts missing, but we got everything all set. And this massive cast iron fence slides nice and smooth. Works well. Locks down on the front and the back. Holds well. And then all the hand wheels are working well, nice and smooth. And what I had to do here is um, they were missing the locking pins. So I made these locking pins uh, from uh, some threaded rod and uh, some helpful folks at uh, OWWM with the uh, a measured drawing. So locking pins are good as new. And then it's got the manual starter, cutler hammer, new old stock. Put that three horsepower ball door single phase motor on there. And let's fire up, see how she sounds. So thanks for joining me for this Powermatic 72 restoration. These are just uh, some uh, uh, recap shots of the process. Um, this was a great project. Um, had to repair a badge, uh, repair a miter gauge, all the normal cleaning of the interior parts and uh, things of that nature. Um, repainting the exterior, uh, putting a new motor on, uh, got a ball door motor, uh, new electricals with a manual starter obviously installing the motor, cleaning up the top and the fence. The arbor was in great shape, uh, very clean and smooth. Um, and then there's the belts installed on the motor, tabletop and miter gauge ready to go. Uh, nice big miter gauge, uh, the fence in good shape. And then here's some final parting shots. Thanks again for following along. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, feel free to shoot me some comments or emails and uh, be happy to, to come up with some videos to help you out. Thanks.